The Hungry Tide 2004 is the fourth novel by Indian-born author, Amitav Ghosh. Set in the Sundarbans, it follows an unlikely trio who travel upriver together to find the rare Irrawaddy dolphin. It won the 2004 Hutch Crossword Book Award for Fiction. Synopsis. Edit. Off the easternmost coast of India, in the Bay of Bengal, lies the immense labyrinth of tiny islands known as the Sundarbans. For settlers here, life is precarious, attacks by deadly tigers are common, and the threat of eviction and consequent social unrest is ever-present. Without warning, at any time, tidal floods rise and surge over the land, leaving devastation in their wake. In this place of vengeful beauty, the lives of three people from different worlds collide. The main character, Peely Roy, is a young marine biologist of Bengali Indian descent but identifying as stubbornly American. Raised in Seattle, she studies at the Scripps Institute of Oceanography in La Jolla. She travels to the Sundarbans in search of a rare endangered river dolphin, Orcaella brevirostris. She meets Kanai Dutt, a translator and businessman, on the Kolkata Suburban Railway heading towards Port Canning, on her way to the Sundarbans. Upon her arrival, she hires a boat to look for the dolphins, but her journey begins with a disaster, when she is thrown from a boat into crocodile-infested waters. Rescue comes in the form of an illiterate young fisherman, Fokir. Although they have no language between them, Pia and Fokir are powerfully drawn to each other, sharing an uncanny instinct for the ways of the sea. Pia engages Fokir to help with her research and finds a translator in Kanai, whose idealistic aunt and uncle are longtime settlers in the Sundarbans. As the three of them explore the tidal backwaters, they are drawn unaware into the hidden undercurrents of this isolated world, where political turmoil exacts a personal toll that is every bit as powerful as the ravaging tide. The Morikjanpi massacre of 1978-79, when the government of West Bengal forcibly evicted thousands of Bengali refugees who had settled on the island, forms a background for some parts of the novel. The novel explores topics such as humanism and environmentalism, especially when they come into conflict. The Hungry Tide, is a novel written by Indian author Amitav Ghosh, first published in 2004. The novel is set in the Sundarbans, a vast mangrove forest in the Bay of Bengal, between India and Bangladesh. It explores themes such as human-animal conflict, environmental degradation, cultural identity, and the impact of globalization on traditional ways of life. The story follows two main characters. Pia Roy, an Indian-American marine biologist who travels to the Sundarbans to study rare river dolphins, and Kanai Dutt, an Indian translator and interpreter who is visiting the region to fulfill a promise to his deceased uncle. As Pia conducts her research, she becomes acquainted with Fokir, a local fisherman who serves as her guide and becomes an integral part of her journey. Through their experiences navigating the treacherous waters of the Sundarbans, encountering its diverse wildlife, and interacting with the local communities, the characters grapple with their own personal histories and the complexities of human relationships against the backdrop of the ever-changing natural world. The Hungry Tide is praised for its rich storytelling, vivid descriptions of the Sundarbans, and its exploration of pressing environmental and social issues. It offers a poignant meditation on the interconnectedness of human lives and the natural world, and the ways in which individuals strive to find their place within it. Here's a beginning-to-end synopsis of The Hungry Tide. The novel begins with the introduction of Pia Roy, a young Indian-American marine biologist who travels to the Sundarbans, a remote and treacherous mangrove forest region in the Bay of Bengal, to study a rare species of river dolphin called the Irrawaddy dolphin. Upon her arrival, Pia meets Kanai Dutt, an interpreter and translator who is visiting the area to fulfill a promise to his late uncle Nirmal. Nirmal had left behind a notebook filled with his writings, which Kanai is tasked with delivering to a local woman named Moina, who lives in a village deep within the Sundarbans. As Pia begins her research, she forms a bond with Fokir, a local fisherman who becomes her guide and assistant. Despite their language barrier, Pia and Fokir develop a deep connection as they navigate the labyrinthine waterways of the Sundarbans and encounter its diverse wildlife. Meanwhile, Kanai sets out on a journey to deliver Nirmal's notebook to Moina. Along the way, he learns about Nirmal's involvement in the political and social struggles of the region, particularly his efforts to empower the marginalized communities living in the Sundarbans. As Pia delves deeper into her research, she uncovers the complex relationship between humans and the environment in the Sundarbans, as well as the threats posed by climate change, deforestation, and industrialization. Tragedy strikes when Pia and Fokir are caught in a storm while traveling through the Sundarbans. Despite their best efforts to survive, 
Fokir sacrifices himself to save Pia, leaving her devastated. In the aftermath of Fokir's death, Pia returns to the United States, deeply affected by her experiences in the Sundarbans. Kanai, too, grapples with the legacy of his uncle's activism and the profound impact it has had on the region. The novel concludes with Pia reflecting on her time in the Sundarbans and the lessons she has learned about the fragile balance between humans and nature. Despite the challenges and hardships she faced, Pia remains committed to her work as a marine biologist and the preservation of the natural world. The Hungry Tide by Amitav Ghosh is a work of fiction, but it is grounded in extensive research and draws inspiration from real-world events and places. Here's some background information about the story. Setting. The novel is primarily set in the Sundarbans, a vast mangrove forest in the delta region of the Bay of Bengal, spread across India and Bangladesh. The Sundarbans is known for its unique ecosystem, characterized by mangrove forests, tidal rivers, and diverse wildlife, including the Bengal tiger and the Irrawaddy dolphin. Environmental themes. Gosha's novel explores pressing environmental issues such as climate change, deforestation, and the impact of human activities on fragile ecosystems. The Sundarbans, being one of the world's largest mangrove forests, faces threats from rising sea levels, habitat destruction, and pollution. Human-animal conflict. The Sundarbans is also known for its complex relationship between humans and wildlife, particularly the Bengal tiger. Incidents of tiger attacks on humans are not uncommon, and Ghosh delves into the tensions and conflicts that arise from this coexistence. Cultural diversity. The Sundarbans region is home to a diverse array of communities, including indigenous groups and migrant populations. Ghosh explores the cultural richness and complexities of life in the Sundarbans, depicting the traditions, customs, and social dynamics of its inhabitants. Political and social context. The novel is set against the backdrop of political and social unrest in the region, including issues of land rights, displacement, and economic inequality. Ghosh weaves in historical events and political movements, reflecting the broader socio-economic context of the Sundarbans. Research and Documentation Ghosh's writing is informed by extensive research and first-hand experiences. He spent time in the Sundarbans conducting fieldwork and gathering material for the novel, immersing himself in the landscape, culture, and ecology of the region. Overall, The Hungry Tide offers a nuanced exploration of the intersection between human lives and the natural world, highlighting the complexities and interconnectedness of environmental, social, and cultural dynamics in the Sundarbans. The Hungry Tide explores several themes, including human-environment interaction. Example. The Sundarbans is depicted as a dynamic and volatile environment where human lives are intimately connected with the natural world. For instance, the characters must navigate the unpredictable tides, dense mangrove forests, and encounters with dangerous wildlife, showcasing the constant negotiation between human presence and the environment. Cultural identity and diversity. Example. The novel portrays the diverse cultural landscape of the Sundarbans through its portrayal of various communities, such as the indigenous islanders, the settlers from the mainland, and the immigrant populations. The characters' cultural backgrounds shape their perspectives and interactions, highlighting the richness and complexity of identity in the region. Environmental degradation. Example. Ghosh illustrates the impact of human activities on the fragile ecosystem of the Sundarbans, including deforestation, pollution, and climate change. The degradation of the environment not only affects the wildlife and natural resources but also threatens the livelihoods and well-being of the local communities, leading to conflicts and struggles for survival. Human-animal conflict. Example. The novel explores the tensions and conflicts that arise from the coexistence of humans and wildlife in the Sundarbans, particularly the encounters with Bengal tigers. Instances of tiger attacks on humans highlight the dangers and challenges faced by both humans and animals in this shared habitat raising questions about conservation, safety, and the ethics of human intervention. Globalization and Modernization Example, the novel reflects the influence of globalization and modernization on traditional ways of life in the Sundarbans. For instance, the characters grapple with the impacts of industrialization, urbanization, and economic development, which bring both opportunities and disruptions to their communities, challenging their cultural values and social structures. Memory and Legacy Example, through the character of Kanai and his connection to his late uncle Nirmal, the novel explores themes of memory, legacy, and the transmission of knowledge across generations. 
Nirmal's writings and activism leave a lasting impact on Kanai and other characters, shaping their understanding of history, politics, and the environment, and inspiring them to confront the challenges of their time. Here are a few more themes from The Hungry Tide, along with examples. Survival and Resilience Example, the characters in the novel, particularly those living in the Sundarbans, demonstrate remarkable resilience in the face of adversity. They must contend with natural disasters, environmental hazards, and economic hardships, yet they find ways to adapt, survive, and even thrive in their challenging surroundings. Isolation and Connectivity Example, the Sundarbans, with its remote and isolated islands, is portrayed as a place of both physical isolation and interconnectedness. While the characters may be geographically distant from the outside world, they are still connected through networks of communication, trade, and cultural exchange, highlighting the ways in which isolation can coexist with forms of connectivity and interdependence. Search for meaning and purpose. Example, many characters in the novel grapple with questions of identity, purpose, and belonging as they navigate their lives in the Sundarbans. Pia, for example, embarks on her research journey in search of scientific knowledge and personal fulfillment, while Kanai seeks to understand his uncle's legacy and his own place in the world, reflecting the universal human quest for meaning and significance. Intersections of Past and Present Example, Ghosh skillfully weaves together historical events, personal memories, and contemporary experiences to explore the intersections of past and present in the Sundarbans. Through characters like Nirmal and Kanai, whose stories bridge multiple time periods, the novel illustrates how the past continues to shape the present and influence the trajectory of individual lives and collective destinies. Power and Marginalization Example, the novel delves into issues of power dynamics and marginalization within the context of the Sundarbans community. Certain groups, such as indigenous islanders or migrant workers, may find themselves marginalized or oppressed by more powerful actors, whether they be government authorities, landowners, or outside corporations. These power imbalances lead to tensions and conflicts that shape the social fabric of the region. Nature is a source of inspiration and danger. Example, the natural environment of the Sundarbans is depicted as both awe-inspiring and perilous. While characters like Pia find inspiration and wonder in the beauty and biodiversity of the region, they must also confront the inherent dangers and risks posed by the unpredictable forces of nature, such as cyclones, tidal waves, and predatory animals. This theme underscores the dual nature of wilderness as both a source of fascination and a realm of potential danger. Here are sketches of some key characters from The Hungry Tide, along with examples of their roles and actions in the novel. Pia Roy Sketch Pia Roy is a young Indian-American marine biologist who travels to the Sundarbans to study Irrawaddy dolphins. Example, Pia's determination to conduct her research in the challenging environment of the Sundarbans drives much of the narrative. Her interactions with local communities and her bond with Fokir, a fisherman who becomes her guide, highlight her curiosity, resilience, and empathy towards both humans and wildlife. Kanai Dutt Sketch Kanai Dutt is an interpreter and translator who visits the Sundarbans to fulfill a promise to his late uncle Nirmal. Example, Kanai's journey to deliver Nirmal's notebook to Moina, a local woman, serves as a vehicle for exploring the region's history, politics, and social dynamics. His reflections on his own identity and his relationship with Nirmal add depth to the narrative, while his encounters with various characters shed light on different facets of life in the Sundarbans. Folk here. Sketch. Fokir is a local fisherman who becomes Pia's guide and companion during her research expedition. Example, Fokir's intimate knowledge of the Sundarbans and his close connection to the natural world make him an invaluable ally to Pia. His interactions with Pia, including their shared experiences navigating the waters and encountering wildlife, reveal his resourcefulness, bravery, and deep reverence for the environment. Moina Sketch Moina is a young woman living in a remote village in the Sundarbans, to whom Kanai delivers Nirmal's notebook. Example, Moina's story offers insights into the lives of the islanders and the challenges they face in a harsh and unforgiving environment. Her relationship with Kanai, as well as her own aspirations and struggles, reflect the resilience and determination of the Sundarbans' inhabitants. Nirmal Sketch Nirmal is Kanai's late uncle, a social activist and writer whose legacy looms large over the narrative. Example, Nirmal's writings and activism serve as a catalyst for the events of the novel, driving Kanai's journey and shaping his understanding of the Sundarbans. Through Nirmal's perspective, 
readers gain insights into the region's history, politics, and environmental challenges, while his personal struggles and ideals resonate with broader themes of justice, legacy, and the pursuit of truth. These character sketches provide a glimpse into the diverse cast of individuals who inhabit the world of the Hungry Tide and contribute to its rich tapestry of themes and narratives. To critically examine comments with theory means to analyze them through the lens of literary theory or critical frameworks. Let's take some comments about The Hungry Tide and examine them using various theoretical perspectives. Feminist Theory Comment The portrayal of Pia as a strong, independent female protagonist challenges traditional gender roles and highlights the agency of women in scientific exploration. Examination through feminist theory, we can analyze how Pia's character subverts gender norms by pursuing her scientific research in a male-dominated field and forming meaningful relationships with male characters like Fokir on her own terms. This highlights the importance of gender equality and empowerment in the narrative. Postcolonial theory. Comment. The novel explores the legacy of colonialism and its impact on the Sundarbans region, revealing the complex dynamics of power, identity, and resistance. Examination. Postcolonial theory allows us to examine how the novel interrogates the lingering effects of colonialism on the Sundarbans and its inhabitants. This includes the exploitation of natural resources, the imposition of Western ideologies, and the resilience of local communities in the face of cultural assimilation and marginalization. Ecocriticism Comment Gosha's vivid descriptions of the Sundarbans ecosystem and his exploration of environmental themes invite readers to reconsider their relationship with nature and the consequences of human intervention. Examination. Ecocriticism provides a framework for analyzing the novel's engagement with ecological issues, such as climate change, habitat destruction, and species extinction. By depicting the intricate connections between humans and their environment, the novel underscores the importance of environmental stewardship and the urgent need for conservation efforts. Marxist Theory Comment The novel depicts the socio-economic disparities in the Sundarbans, highlighting the exploitation of labor and resources by capitalist forces and the resistance of marginalized communities. Examination through a Marxist lens, we can analyze the unequal distribution of wealth and power in the Sundarbans, as well as the struggles of working-class individuals like Fokir against oppressive economic structures. The novel critiques the capitalist exploitation of natural resources and calls attention to the social inequalities perpetuated by global economic systems. Psychoanalytic Theory Comment Characters like Kanai and Pia undergo profound psychological transformations as they confront their past traumas and search for meaning in the midst of environmental upheaval. Examination. Psychoanalytic theory allows us to explore the inner lives of characters and their motivations, desires, and anxieties. Kanai and Pia's journeys can be analyzed through this lens, examining how their personal histories and unconscious desires shape their actions and relationships, and how they grapple with existential questions in the face of external challenges. By critically examining comments through different theoretical perspectives, we can gain deeper insights into the themes, characters, and narratives of The Hungry Tide and understand its broader significance within the context of literary studies. Let's break down each element of The Hungry Tide according to your request. Settings The primary setting of The Hungry Tide is the Sundarbans, a vast and mystical mangrove forest located in the delta region of the Bay of Bengal. Within the Sundarbans, various locales such as remote villages, dense mangrove swamps, tidal rivers, and isolated islands provide rich and evocative backdrops for the narrative. These settings contribute to the novel's atmosphere of mystery, danger, and beauty, while also reflecting the ecological and cultural diversity of the region. Plot The plot of The Hungry Tide revolves around the intersecting lives of its characters as they navigate the challenges and conflicts of the Sundarbans. Key plot elements include Pia's research expedition to study Irrawaddy dolphins, Kanai's journey to deliver his late uncle's notebook, and the characters' encounters with natural disasters, wildlife, and human adversaries. The plot unfolds through a series of interconnected events and revelations, culminating in moments of tragedy, revelation, and transformation. Style Amitav Ghosh's writing style in the Hungry Tide, is characterized by lush and lyrical prose, vivid descriptions of the natural world, and intricate storytelling. Ghosh employs rich sensory detail and immersive imagery to evoke the sights, sounds, and textures of the Sundarbans, creating a sense of place that is both enchanting and foreboding. 
His narrative style seamlessly weaves together multiple perspectives, timelines, and thematic threads, drawing readers into the lives and landscapes of his characters with depth and nuance. Genre The Hungry Tide can be classified as a work of literary fiction that encompasses elements of historical fiction, adventure, and environmental literature. While the novel is grounded in real-world settings and events, it also incorporates elements of myth, folklore, and magical realism, blurring the boundaries between the natural and supernatural realms. The genre-defying nature of the novel allows it to explore complex themes and ideas with depth and complexity, appealing to a wide range of readers. Dialogue Dialogue in The Hungry Tide serves multiple purposes, including character development, exposition, and thematic exploration. The dialogue is often infused with regional dialects, cultural references, and idiomatic expressions that reflect the diverse linguistic landscape of the Sundarbans. Through dialogue, characters reveal their motivations, beliefs, and conflicts, engaging in debates about identity, morality, and the human relationship with nature. Gosha's dialogue is authentic and nuanced, capturing the rhythms and cadences of everyday speech while also conveying deeper layers of meaning and subtext. Structure the structure of The Hungry Tide is nonlinear, with multiple narrative strands interwoven throughout the novel. Ghosh employs a shifting perspective, alternating between different characters' points of view and moving between past and present timelines. This narrative structure allows Ghosh to explore the interconnectedness of his characters' lives and experiences, as well as the broader historical and environmental contexts in which they are situated. The novel's episodic structure builds tension and suspense, keeping readers engaged as the story unfolds across time and space. Let's examine the significance, relevance, legacy, contribution, and impact of The Hungry Tide. Significance The Hungry Tide holds significant cultural and literary importance due to its exploration of pressing environmental issues, such as climate change and habitat destruction, in the context of the Sundarbans region. Through its vivid portrayal of the natural world and its nuanced depiction of human-animal interactions, the novel sheds light on the intricate relationships between humans and their environment, highlighting the fragility and interconnectedness of ecosystems. Relevance The themes and messages of The Hungry Tide remain highly relevant in today's world, where environmental degradation and the impact of human activities on the natural world continue to be pressing concerns. The novel's exploration of topics such as conservation, sustainability, and the ethics of resource exploitation resonates with contemporary debates about environmental policy, biodiversity loss, and climate justice. Legacy The Hungry Tide has left a lasting legacy as a work of literature that combines rich storytelling with social and environmental consciousness. Its vivid imagery, complex characters, and thought-provoking themes have made it a seminal work in contemporary Indian literature and a touchstone for discussions about the intersection of humans and nature. Contribution Amitav Ghosh's novel has contributed to the broader literary landscape by bringing attention to the Sundarbans region and its ecological significance. By incorporating elements of historical fiction, adventure, and environmental literature, The Hungry Tide, has expanded the boundaries of literary genre and offered readers a multifaceted exploration of the human relationship with the natural world. Impact The Hungry Tide has had a significant impact on readers, scholars, and environmental activists alike by raising awareness about the challenges facing fragile ecosystems like the Sundarbans. The novel's compelling narrative and powerful themes have inspired readers to reflect on their own relationship with nature and to engage in discussions and actions aimed at preserving biodiversity, mitigating climate change, and promoting environmental justice. Overall, The Hungry Tide stands as a testament to the power of literature to provoke thought, evoke emotion, and catalyze positive change in the world, making it a timeless and enduring work of literary artistry with profound implications for both present and future generations. Amitav Ghosh, born on July 11, 1956, is an Indian author known for his captivating storytelling, meticulous research, and exploration of complex historical and environmental themes. He was born in Calcutta, now Kolkata, India, and spent his childhood in various locations due to his father's career in the Indian Foreign Service. Ghosh's diverse background and experiences have greatly influenced his writing, which often reflects themes of identity, migration, colonialism, and globalization. Features of Amitav Ghosh's writing Rich and evocative prose, Ghosh's writing is characterized by its lush and evocative prose, which transports readers to the vividly depicted landscapes and settings of his novels. 
He employs vivid sensory detail and immersive imagery to create a sense of place that is both immersive and atmospheric. Interdisciplinary approach Gosha's work often transcends traditional literary boundaries, drawing on elements of history, anthropology, science, and philosophy to enrich his narratives. His interdisciplinary approach to storytelling adds depth and complexity to his work, allowing him to explore multifaceted themes and ideas. Global Perspective Gosha's novels reflect his global perspective, rooted in his experiences of living in various countries and engaging with diverse cultures. He often examines the interconnectedness of different regions and societies, highlighting the ways in which historical events and social dynamics shape individual lives and collective destinies. Social and Environmental Consciousness Many of Gosha's novels grapple with pressing social and environmental issues, such as climate change, political unrest, and cultural displacement. Hughes's fiction is a means of raising awareness about these issues and prompting readers to reflect on their implications for the world at large. Contributions of Amitiv Ghosh Literary exploration of colonialism, Ghosh's novels, including The Hungry Tide, contribute to a deeper understanding of the legacies of colonialism and imperialism in South Asia and beyond. Through his nuanced portrayal of historical events and cultural dynamics, Ghosh sheds light on the enduring impact of colonialism on contemporary societies and individuals. Environmental Advocacy Gosha's writing has played a significant role in raising awareness about environmental issues, particularly in the context of the Sundarbans and other ecologically sensitive regions. His novels provoke readers to consider the human impact on the natural world and the urgent need for conservation and sustainable development. Cultural Representation Gosha's novels provide a platform for the representation and exploration of diverse cultures, languages, and identities. By giving voice to marginalized communities and highlighting their struggles and triumphs, Ghosh contributes to a more inclusive and pluralistic understanding of society. Literary Innovation Ghosh's innovative approach to storytelling, which blends elements of fiction, history, and anthropology, has expanded the possibilities of contemporary literature. His experimentation with narrative structure, genre, and form challenges conventional literary norms and pushes the boundaries of literary expression. Overall, Amitiv Ghosh's writing is characterized by its intellectual rigor, social consciousness, and literary artistry, making him one of the most influential and celebrated authors of contemporary Indian literature. Through his novels, Ghosh continues to captivate readers, provoke thought, and inspire dialogue about the pressing issues facing humanity in the 21st century. In The Hungry Tide, the massacre referenced is known as the Morakjanpi Massacre, which occurred in the Sundarbans region of West Bengal, India, in January 1979. This tragic event is a historical incident that forms part of the backdrop for the novel. The Morakjanpi Massacre was the result of a conflict between the Indian government and a group of refugees who had settled in the Sundarbans. The refugees, primarily Bengali-speaking Muslim peasants from East Pakistan, now Bangladesh, had migrated to India during the Bangladesh Liberation War in 1971. However, they faced discrimination and marginalization in India and were denied access to land and basic resources. In 1978, the Left Front government in West Bengal initiated a policy to evict these refugees from the Sundarbans in order to reclaim the land for wildlife conservation and forest preservation. Despite promises of resettlement, the refugees were forcibly evicted from their settlements in Morakjanpi and other areas of the Sundarbans. The eviction operation, carried out by government authorities, turned violent, resulting in clashes between the refugees and security forces. Many refugees were killed or injured during the conflict, and thousands were left homeless and destitute. The exact number of casualties remains disputed, with estimates ranging from several hundred to over a thousand. The Morakjanpi massacre remains a deeply contentious and controversial episode in Indian history, with ongoing debates about the government's role in the violence, the treatment of refugees, and the broader issues of land rights, social justice, and environmental conservation. In The Hungry Tide, the massacre serves as a backdrop for exploring themes of displacement, conflict, and the human cost of environmental policy decisions in the Sundarbans region. In The Hungry Tide, the river dolphin referred to as the Irrawaddy dolphin, or Kaela brevirostris, a species of freshwater dolphin found in parts of Southeast Asia, including the Sundarbans. Region where the novel is set. The Irrawaddy dolphin is a unique and charismatic species known for its distinctive appearance and behavior, as well as its ecological significance. Here's some information about the Irrawaddy dolphin and its significance in the novel.
Appearance and behavior. Irrawaddy dolphins have a distinctive appearance, with a rounded forehead, small dorsal fin, and blunt snout. They are typically gray or brown in color and can grow up to 2.5 meters in length. Unlike marine dolphins, Irrawaddy dolphins are primarily found in freshwater rivers, estuaries, and coastal areas, where they feed on a variety of fish and crustaceans. They are known for their playful and curious behavior, often approaching boats and interacting with humans. Ecological Significance Irrawaddy dolphins play a vital role in the ecosystems of rivers and coastal areas where they inhabit. As top predators, they help maintain the balance of fish populations and contribute to the overall health of aquatic ecosystems. Their presence is often an indicator of the ecological integrity of freshwater habitats, making them important focal points for conservation efforts. Cultural and Symbolic Meaning In many cultures, including those of the Sundarbans region, dolphins are revered as sacred or mythical creatures with cultural and spiritual significance. They are often associated with themes of wisdom, protection, and harmony with nature. In The Hungry Tide, the Irrawaddy dolphin serves as a symbol of the interconnectedness of humans and the natural world, as well as the fragile beauty of the Sundarbans ecosystem. Conservation Status Despite their ecological importance and cultural significance, Irrawaddy dolphins face numerous threats to their survival, including habitat loss, pollution, bycatch and fishing gear, and boat traffic. As a result, they are listed as vulnerable or endangered by conservation organizations such as the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN. Efforts to protect and conserve Irrawaddy dolphins in their native habitats are ongoing, with a focus on habitat restoration, community-based conservation initiatives, and sustainable management of fisheries and waterways. In The Hungry Tide, the Irrawaddy dolphin serves as a focal point for the protagonist Pia's research and exploration of the Sundarbans region. Through her study of these elusive creatures, Pia gains insights into the complex relationships between humans and wildlife, as well as the urgent need for conservation and protection of the unique ecosystems of the Sundarbans. The presence of the Irrawaddy dolphin in the novel underscores the novel's broader themes of environmental stewardship, cultural identity, and the delicate balance between human activities and the natural world.